Hi guys, welcome back to another Vlogmas. So in today's episode, I ordered some little ducks to duck jeeps. I've explained it in the past video, but for jeep owners, it's called ducking. You go and leave a duck on another jeep and they just get surprised or whatever. I ordered some Christmas edition little ducks. Look how freaking cute. Little penguin. There's just a lot of cute ones. So I'm going to go ahead and start putting these. I made some little things to put them on the ducks so they can follow me on instagram and here they are my friend printed them for me this is one design it just says you've been ducked and then it says my instagram jipeta season and i cannot wait to do that i'm gonna try and vlog hopefully nobody no one catches me putting the duck in the car also if you see behind me i set up my little coffee cart if you saw my previous video you guys saw that my dad built this for me and if you haven't seen it, I'm going to link it below. I'm going to start promoting myself for catering. And then my friend is so amazing. And she helped me change the labels of the original syrups because they were not the cutest. We want everything to look cute, aesthetic, and clean. And then she just made these. But I'm so thankful for my friend. Shout out to her because she's amazing. And this is how it looks. I honestly just stare at it because I'm just I feel so proud and so happy. This is something that I envisioned. My dad made my vision come to life and I feel so blessed. So I'm gonna leave the link below so you guys can see the process a little bit. But this is how it looks so far. But now I'm gonna start cutting these so I can see if I can go outside and find some jeeps around my neighborhood. <laughs> Okay, so I finished a couple. We have Santa here. This is like a blue one. It has little snowflakes. I don't know if you guys can see. This little cute one with the Santa hat. This one has candy canes. So freaking cute. Este is just like a winter scarf. And then a little snowman. And this one has little Christmas trees. So I'm gonna hopefully... I can give these out to... Not today. This week before Christmas. And yeah, I'll try and vlog every time I get a Jeep. So right now I'm going to go outside and see if I can find any Jeep. I'm going to take Santa and the snowman. Hi guys, welcome back. So this is the next day or a couple days later. I don't know. But I have been ducking Jeeps and I'm going to add clips here. And honestly, it's like I get anxious because I'm like scared that the owner is going to come to the their car and they're going to see me. So I already got one tag and I follow back. So and I found out that that girl makes super cute ducks, like kind of like bling bling, like with uh, like really cute. Um, so hopefully she ducks me because I want one of those ducks. But I made myself a cafecito, obviously. Hi, guys. I'm sorry if this vlog is all over the place, but I've been all over the place. That's reality. So it's such a busy week because it's a week of it's a week of Christmas. So I'm trying to right now I'm gonna start wrapping. Today is Tuesday. Christmas is on Sunday. So I haven't I haven't finished shopping. It's such a busy week. I'm working on my car because I do have an event this Saturday. I'm gonna be doing a pop-up in a store in Barrio Logan. If you're from San Diego, you probably know it's called Dirty Thirty Dirty Dirty Flirty, something like that. I'm gonna be there for my first pop-up. So I'm gonna start wrapping presents. You probably always see me wearing my little merch sweaters, but I love wearing it because it's my brand, you know? So what the heck is this? Okay, so I did, uh, like I mentioned, I don't know if I already mentioned this, but we're not gifting my, we're not really giving presents to like each other. Since we're such a big family and the tents are tough, uh, we decided to just give each other something little that's gonna fit in our stocking, just to have something to look forward to. Uh, we're mainly focused on, focused on our, like my sobrinos, my nieces and nephew, and you know, give them presents. We as adults, we understand that we can't, we're, it's so many of us, it's 10 siblings, so it's hard to buy something for each. Like I would love to buy everyone and my sister something, like you know nicer bigger but it's hard you know especially while trying to grow your business and investing it's just super hard honestly as you grow you're gonna realize that it's not really about presents and trickles hold on it's not really about presents it's mostly like you have your whole family together there's so many that have lost their family member this year and i'm so sorry if you were one of those we're so blessed 
people don't know how blessed we are if we're still here and we're healthy and we have our family together there's family members that don't talk to each other that there's fights and i feel like time is too life is too short to be dealing with all of that it's just so sad to see those broken families like i don't even want to talk about mine but my immediate family, which is the, the what matters to me, my parents, my sisters, my brother, we're all good right now. We talk to each other. Every Everything's perfect right now. I thank God every day because those are little things that we take for granted. And a lot of people worry more about big presents and super expensive things. And honestly, that doesn't matter because when we're gone, all that's going to stay and it's not going to have any value. So cherish that good things in life, the things that actually matter. Nada como este... Nada material importa. Porque eso que, that can be gone like this. And you may have it all now, but tomorrow it might all be gone. So don't focus on those things that don't really matter. I don't know why I'm here preaching, but I just felt it. Felt it in my heart to say it because I maybe want to, some, somebody needed to hear this. So I want to talk about the Jeep since this vlog is mostly about everything. But <laughs> talking about the Jeep, ducking Jeeps, I get a lot of questions in my DMs. Do you recommend a Jeep? Do you, I want a Jeep so bad. Do you recommend it? Do you have problems? So. I've had my Jeep since 2020. I have a Jeep Sahara 2020. I love it. Honestly, I would not, I'm, I don't regret buying it. Um, it's a little pricier than other cars. Like the parts for the Jeeps are expensive, like tires. Especially if you want it, como que se mire un poquito más mamalona, más acá, nice, which I do want to. I've been wanting to lift it. Not lift it like super, like a monster, but lift it to a nice height, maybe like two inches that it looks you know, more like a baddie. Uh, maybe some new shoes, like bigger tires, like beefier tires, but super expensive. Right now, I'm like, you know what? Like, it's either I spend money on that or I invest in my business. I want to be do the smart thing and invest in my business to grow. And actually, after that, it comes, you know, the lujos or, you know, extra things. I really, it's not like urgently to lift my Jeep or buy new tires, but uh, it's something that I want because it looks nicer right now it's how it is and i love it guys it's my baby and like i said materiales no importan material things don't matter but it feels nice to get to have something that you worked for and you paid off and it's something you want you know those things are nice obviously there's people that buy those things and don't have you know are struggling with money and i think that's dumb like if you have that extra income to be able to purchase something do it if it's something that you really want do it but obviously if you're struggling and you'd rather have a car then you know have somewhere to live or uh independizar to live by yourself then obviously you know lo primero lo primero everybody thinks different this is just my opinion but i love it i don't regret it um it hasn't given me any problems like major problems um thank god because like i said anything can happen so far it's been great i've had it for three years and i love it i don't regret it i would buy it all over again a lot of people talk about oh well jeeps are super expensive in gas yes mine's it's a four cylinder which it doesn't spend as much gas as other jeeps but it just depends what you get right now i think there's a new one that's four by e so instead of four by four it's half electric i don't know exactly how that works how powerful that is or how you know good it is but mine's a four cylinder like i said it's a 2020 jeep sahara four cylinder and it's not as bad in gas. I feel like when you have the car that you want, like you car your dreams, gas doesn't really matter. That's something that if you're buying the cars because you have in mind that you're gonna be spending gas, obviously depend, depending how much you drive and everything. But I recommend it if that's something you want. I feel like everyone should have a Jeep in their life at least once, like for a little bit. Cause those are so, it's they're so, uh, I feel like they're super, uh, they're fun cars to have, to drive, you know, there's like a whole Jeep community, the ducking, the Jeep wave. When you like, you know, drive by a Jeep, you do the Jeep wave. You just say hi to the other Jeeps. And I feel like it's like a really nice friendly community. Uh, there, There's always like meetups and everything. There was a meetup that I regret not going to. I forgot, honestly, there was one here in San Diego where you would take a toy, like donate a toy for, they were gonna do it. They were gonna take him the following day to Tijuana TJ Mexico is super close to San Diego, like 20 minute, 15 minute drive. And they would give you like a tamal and food in exchange. And it was like all the Jeeps, you know, it was like a Jeep meetup uh, for like a, what's it called? Toy drive. And I regret not going and I have, I forgot to buy toys. I totally forgot it. I, I honestly do regret it because I, I would have loved to help make a kid smile, you know? 
So I'm gonna search up and see if there's more because that's something that I, I, I feel like it makes my heart feel happy. And I did see that they did post the following day. They did went to take him and they post all the kids smiling and happy. And oh, that just made me super happy. So I hope I answered your question about the Jeep. But obviously I wouldn't prioritize getting a car if you're, you know, you haven't experienced living on your own and paying your own bills and like, I feel like those things come first and they're more important than having the car with dreams. So there's a lot of people that have different focuses. In my opinion, it matters more that I have my foot on the ground that I know I'm gonna be able to pay it off sooner than what the time frame that they give you, which I was blessed to pay it off in two years versus six that they had told me. And you cut back on a lot of um, interest rates. Um, which to begin with my interest wasn't too bad because I had a really good I have really good credit I give a really pretty good uh, down payment those things help you so just keep in mind it's a responsibility and once you pay it off it's like you know like I am blessed to say I have my dream card paid off and and no way I'm doing this video to show off if you know me you know I'm not that type of person I'm mostly like to encourage people and motivate you to to tell you that and motivate you by showing you that you can do it i'm just a girl that you know just like i lost 100 pounds and i motivate you guys and tell you guys you can do it too literally i was a girl that i was overweight and i thought i would never lose weight and i thought I, that was i was meant to be overweight i was meant to have that lifestyle until i challenged myself to change my life completely and i'm like dude like anyone can do this if i did it that i would doubt myself and i was so low and super low self-esteem and sick diabetic like anyone can do it. I had no special powers. I just literally me lo propuse. I was committed. I had um uh I was disciplined and I did it. So that's what I'm telling you. You can do it, you can do more than what I've done. You can start your business, you can get your car, your dreams. You just have to really believe in yourself and um surround yourself with people that push you and motivate you and you look up to and uh, a lot of people nowadays i feel like instead of looking up to you or feeling proud of you they feel like you're their, their competition like if we post like if personally if i post something it's because honestly i want to show you that you can not because i'm showing off uh because like i said again all this can be gone and you know like that doesn't make me who i am uh, but I really, I really hope that all of you guys get inspired versus feeling jealous because in no type of way I'm trying to feel anyone, I'm trying to make anyone feel like that. So anyways, I wanted to end this vlog with this little pep talk. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Yes, siempre voy a estar riñuda la verdad porque I just turn on the camera and start vlogging. I don't have time to be getting ready for the camera and I'm sorry. See, así soy. I'm not gonna show you something I'm not. I'm not gonna, you know, so... Yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I'm going to try and vlog more this week, although I'm super busy. But I'm going to try my best. I'm going to try and vlog Christmas. And yeah, guys, so thank you for watching. I'm going to finish wrapping. And then I'll see you guys in the next video. Please stay safe out there. There's a lot of accidents. Me too. I need to be careful. Don't be on your phones. And enjoy your family. Enjoy your loved ones. Go talk to the person that you haven't talked to. Por orgullo. Leave that pride aside, honestly. No importa el orgullo. Like... We're all going to end up in the same place. Just put that your prayer aside, okay? I love you guys. Big hugs to everyone. Please don't forget to subscribe and like this video. And comment your favorite part of this video. I'll see you guys later. Bye.